That's right, guys. It's March, so you know what that means. The NCAA men's and women's college basketball tournaments are getting underway. On the men's side, the top four seeds are Michigan, Baylor, Illinois, and undefeated Gonzaga. Jalen Suggs and the West Coast Conference champions are the heavy favorites to cut down the nets. In the women's tournament, the one seeds are NC State, Stanford, South Carolina, and UConn. Perennial powerhouses South Carolina or UConn are expected to win the tourney. But UConn is facing COVID concerns before the tournament even gets started, and they are not alone. Legendary head coach Gino Auriemma tested positive for coronavirus on Monday and will miss the next two weeks of action. The men's tournament has taken precautions in the event of an outbreak, creating four alternate teams for the first time in the tournament's history. The NCAA is doing their best to adjust to the circumstances and hopefully crown champions for the first time since 2019. In the first 48 hours of free agency, an unlikely team is making splashy moves left and right, the New England Patriots. Bill Belichick is known for his slow approach towards acquiring talent, but it seems an old dog is learning new tricks. The Pats splurged on tight ends Hunter Henry and John U. Smith, as well as Ez Rutcher, Matthew Judon, just to name a few. Clearly, Belichick was not satisfied with New England's first losing season since 2000, and he's looking to do something about it. As professional leagues slowly allow fans to trickle into games, UFC is soon to be the first to allow a packed stadium. UFC 261 is expected to unfold in front of a full house in Jacksonville, Florida on April 24th. The event will mark the first full capacity indoor event in the country since the onset of the pandemic last March. The headlining event is the welterweight title bout between Kamari Usman and Jorge Masvidal. It's a bold move from UFC, but one that is certain to grab some headlines. That's about it for sports this week. I'm Joey Dubois, kicking it back over to you two at the desk.